Hi, man. This is Ace with Rock and Roll Magazine. We're here with Rick of Adelaide's Way. How's it doing, bud? Feeling good. Great yeah. night. Yeah, you guys just got done with your set. Yep. Uh, how are you feeling after that, I feel man? good. Yeah. I feel good. It's another day at the office, man. But Kansas City is one of our favorite places to come regardless. So every time we come to the city, we have a great day. I went and got some Joe's Barbecue. All right. Uh, you know, I, I love uh, I love so much about this, this city. Every time we come to KC, you know, we played the arena with Guns N' Roses. We've done Rock Fest. Um, and then we get to show up in headlines, so it feels great. Right on. You guys doing just, you know, a little two-month stint, uh, wrapping it up, about four months shows left. Yep. Uh, then after that, you're going to go jump on a boat. Yep. How Play a cruise. Axe and Anchors, we're going to be in the Bahamas, man, playing playing with Breaking Benjamin in the Bahamas. That'll be yep. good. They're, those guys are friends of ours. we got a lot of bands that are friends of ours on the cruise. Right. We're going to go enjoy ourselves, really. Have you, got, have you done that before, the cruise? Nope, first cruise. What do you think, what do you think yeah. it's going to be like? Uh, I think I, I hate the ocean, but I think <laughs> there's nothing to hate about <laughs> There's nothing to hate about the payday, and nothing to hate about rocking a cruise, you know? Right, right. I'm ready. The, the uh, east, the Atlantic is a little rough on a boat, man. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, don't, I don't like I it. I hate the ocean, bottom yeah. line. You just, I hate it. You don't like water, or what is it? Why don't you like the ocean? I just don't like the ocean. I don't like the fucking fish in there. Yeah. I don't like all the weird shit down there, all yeah. the octopuses and sharks and all that bullshit. Fuck them. Big shit that's going to eat you. Yeah, I don't want nothing yeah. to do with them. Right, you don't want to be anybody's... I'm a big boy, uh, I got some meat on me. <laughs> we actually just spoke to a young lady, Gabby Ray, that's going to be on that cruise with you. Oh, cool. Real good chick, man. You know, you guys will enjoy that. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, Wendy Dio is actually her manager. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, so cool. She, was, she was real nice. She was doing with Europe. Uh, you guys got a new album coming out. Yep, February, uh, February 26th, Getaway. Getaway's coming out. And, yeah. You know, I, I think we're in an era where people, uh, you know, people can't put so much focus. You know, a, a record coming out's a big deal, but... You know, we want to release. We want to release music. You know, we're going to release music over the next couple of years. You know, so getaways. We're very excited about it, but we're going to follow it up, man. We're going to, we're going to keep uh, pumping out what songs we think are great. There's a lot of songs on the record that we love, and uh, we're going to keep striving to make more. You know, I think uh, we're in an era now where where people are putting music out faster than ever. You know, you got you got artists like uh, it's not rock and roll, but Beyonce and Drake and these artists are just dropping material and songs they're falling in love with things they've released and that's what we do we write songs we love the songs we write so we want people to hear them and we want to write a variety of songs you know we don't want to just keep making the same sounding records so we're being dangerous we're, we're taking risks you know sometimes people like those risks you take sometimes people complain about them sometimes you gain new fans off them sometimes your old fans are bummed you did it but at the end of the day uh we're looking to expand we're looking to uh just get, really we don't overthink anything we just play and have fun and enjoy it right Speaking of your older fans, you guys opened up sick. I was like, holy shit, I haven't heard this forever. Yeah. I hadn't heard that song forever, and you just yep. guys came out with it. I mean, that's, it's kind of like a, you know, like a hit to the face. Man. Yeah. It's great. That's the that goal. Song. That's yeah. the goal, to come right out yeah. and, and come out on fire. And, you know, we're blessed, man. We've been around for almost 10 years now, so we have, wow. you know, we have quite a few uh, hit songs. And, and I think uh, when you listen to our set, you know, but when, you got to see when we open for someone. If we play thirty minutes, man, it's just like it's just like six number one hits, yeah. <laughs> and we're out of there. So you like that though? Do you like I, the it? It feels good. I do. I, mean, I do. But the thing I don't like is there's a lot of you know there's a lot of people that come to our headlining shows and they they everyone has different songs they want to hear. I want to hear Drive. I want to hear Undivided. I want to hear Dirty Little Thing. I want to hear it Closer. You right. want to hear these songs and. It's tough to read everyone's minds. You know, we, we, we try to put together a set list that we think a lot of people will like, but we also are going to change it up every time we tour. Right. And, of course, you want to get some new stuff people don't hear all the time. Of know? course. Not those radio singles. Well, the, if you don't play the radio singles, people fucking Well, they're going to get pissed. People yeah. riot. People, yeah. I'm telling you, like, we've, we've done it where we've, we've gone out and there's been a show or two where we won't play it live or collapse or something. And we never hear the end of it. Really? We'll never hear the end of it. People will, the whole time, there'll just be somebody there or multiple people like, you didn't, you didn't play the song. And we're like, we understand we didn't play the song. We know we didn't. <laughs> so you can't do that, man. Yeah. You can't do it. You got to yeah. play the hits. You got you to feed the masses. You right? got to play gotta the hits. Them. Yep. So I mean, okay, you guys have been doing this little tour. Going to go to off the boat. What are you going to do after that, man? We're being patient, you know. Uh, we really believe we deserve, uh, and I don't mean to say deserve, but we do. You know, we're, we're flying up the rock charts. We have a song that's number 19 right now on our own label. Bad Reputation. Uh, Bad Reputation right. is 19 on the active rock chart. It's selling a thousand singles a week. It's streaming on Spotify. Everyone's streaming it. It's blowing up, you know. So we want to sit back and, and patiently wait for a relevant tour. Right. And if a relevant tour that we don't like come, doesn't come along, we're just going to continue to headline. Right. Because... Uh, our headlining tour has been extremely successful. You know, we just we just did the uh, half the United States on a four week run, and uh, every single house was packed. So you know, it, it really it really feels good to us for all those years of finally be coming together, uh, all the hard work coming together, and, and and seeing that you know, 
um, and we're just going to keep it rolling. So we really, we really want to open up for someone we like. We've got, we got in a couple instances where we opened up some bands we did not like, and we didn't have good experiences, and we wanted to quit the tour. And I've never quit a tour in my life, you know. Right. But when you're opening up for a band that you just don't have, you don't have respect for as people, you want to get off, you know. And that's why we, we focus on headlining more because. A lot of bands are, don't have that band camaraderie, man. We do. When we bring another band on, we embrace them. We treat them good. You know, we've been on the road with just one or two bands who who just think it's a competition constantly. And what can they do? What can they do to fuck us up? You know, what can really? they, let's take their lights away from them. Let's take their sound away from them. Let's take the stage room away from them. Let's not let them sound check. Let's not let them line check. Let's just let's just not give them dread. Let's let them fucking suffer till they get up on stage. And that's just bullshit, man. No so, shit. Yeah. so we dealt with that on, on a couple runs ago. And then right. we told ourselves that, that we were going to build something special and that we weren't going to open up for anyone. And we didn't want to anymore. So uh, we're going to be patient. That's the future. That's interesting. That's somebody. Yeah. Cause I mean, obviously, I mean, on a tour like that, you know, you know, you guys are getting together and they just want to dick you. That's just, not they right. dicked us from the beginning man. from the pay to everything. They just, really? they, they set the tone for how they were going to treat us. And, Look, I'll never cross paths with that band again, and they, yeah. they, you know, they can have a good life, and, and uh, you know, I don't wish nothing. Uh, I wish they were better people, but I mean, other than that, you know, fuck them. And, and we won't throw them under the bus, but I mean, who would you like to? Is there anybody you want to tour with? Of have course, so many bands. There? I mean, look, there's there's bands we've already toured with that I like to tour with again. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, Three Days Grace, we're great friends right. with. Uh, Theory of a Dead Band, we're great friends with. We'd like to tour with Nickelback. Everyone says what they say about Nickelback, but right, they're the butt of know, every joke. Yeah, yeah, you know. But at the end of the day, when you're playing in front of arenas, we want that. Right. Uh, we want to play with Pearl Jam. You know, we want to play with. Uh, uh, you know, Breaking Benjamin. We want to play with. You know, there's new bands too. We like to play with Royal Blood. You know what I mean? We want to play with. We want to play with bands that we dig and we think are cool, um, and that we get along with. So. What about the festival scene? Didn't see you guys really on anything? Are you just not you, into that? No, or? no, we're into it. But look, really? at the, look at the music business does, man. They want you to, they want to forget about you as fast as they can, but you can't. You're one song yeah. away always. You're always right. a song away from being remembered and right being back in the front line, you yeah. know? So I think you'll see us on all the festivals probably next year. I think okay. it'll have like a reverse effect. You know, it'll have like a, we're successful now, so next year we'll be on those. Right. We had nothing going on because we were off writing an album. And and no one rem no one thought about Adelita's way, but now we're going to be in everyone's mind. Right on. Do you like that scene? Do you like the of course festivals? I do. I love them. I mean, they're they're some of the most energetic. I feed off energy, and when fifty five thousand yeah. people are feeding me energy, it's a beautiful show. Right we're on. one of, we're one of the best live bands in the scene today, man. I you know, and I truly believe that, and that's why we built the following we built. Right. And I think a uh, festival playing in front of fifty five thousand people, the, where we are in our careers right now, all we're going to do is go out there and blow them away. Uh, we want to be on Rockfest. We want to be on Rebellion. We want to be on Rock on the Range. Look, we're, when when people talk about Rock on the Range, uh, one of the biggest stories they talk about is is when I ran and jumped off the stage and, and right. was smoking joints in the crowd while I was getting crowd surfed. You know what I mean? So right. that's in books, man. Yeah. That's going to last for time. Right. You know, and, and that's memories for people. So we create memories at these festivals. Right. That's what it's about. Man. That's what, that's it's, what about. it's about. So when you're tuck off this away. You're winding down. What do you do, man? What do you? How do you get away from this, or do you get away from the music? I'll get away from it. Yeah. You know, I have a family to raise, and I have kids, and, and right. I love my kids, and I want to be very involved in their lives. So, right now is the time where I have to go out there and execute and get it done, and and, and you know, get royalties and get everything for the kids. You know, get set trust family. up for them. Yeah. You know, guide them for whatever they want to do with their lives, whatever their dreams they have, whatever they want to do. I want to be able to help facilitate those. And you know, I'm, I'm, I've experienced my dreams. I've lived my dreams, so I'm also humble. I'll do anything. I'll do any job that I have to do to support my family. You know, if one day this comes to an end, and I have to go back to work on my dad, uh, I will gladly. As long as the bills are getting paid and my kids are fed, uh, you know, I've already lived my dreams. I've already done it. I've already played in front of seventy-five thousand people five, ten times. I've already sold, uh, you know, a million singles. I've already put out four albums on a major label. I put an album out on my own label, you know. So when this is all said and done, I have no regrets. I have nothing to look back on. I won't feel like I missed anything. Uh, the only, my objective, my goal is to be a man and to, and, to, and to support my family. What would working with your dad be? My dad owns a very successful refrigeration, heating, and air conditioning company. Right on. If I were to say what my future is going to entail, I think I'm going to write hit songs for other people. I get a lot of calls. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of songs that people try to snag off me, and I use yeah. I use for other things. And uh, you know, maybe I'm gonna, maybe one day I won't be stubborn and I'll and I'll, I'll give one up and, yeah. and it'll become something. Right on. Hey, you know. some of the best uh, you know performers out there are some of the best songwriters, like a Willie Nelson, all those guys yeah. from back in the day. I love I writing mean, songs. I wrote every yeah. Adelina's Way song that ever exists, man. And, and I wrote 
I, I got two other bands' record deals off songs that I wrote for me and I gave to them. You right. know? So at the end of the day, there's something there. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I who, made a couple hundred thousand dollars for other bands. Right, yeah. right. Uh, who are you listening to right now? You got any? Uh, yeah, you're really digging or? You know, I don't want to be a stubborn bastard, but it, it's <laughs> rare that I listen to new stuff. Um, right. I'm very, very old school. I listen to Audio Slave and Nirvana and yeah. Eric Clapton and Cream and. I listen to hit songs too, man. I listen to some foreigner hits. I listen to anything, uh, anything that I'm just in the mood for. You know, it, it varies. It varies very, very greatly. Um, you know, there's been I, there's also songs that I cherry pick. You know, there's if I hear a band that puts something nice out that I like, yeah, I'll, I'll totally pluck it off and, and I'll check their album out. Or I'll, you know, I'm, I'm I love music as much as anyone else. Right. So, oh man, well. Anything you want to say to the people, man? I love you guys. Thank I want to thank the fans for you know helping our dreams come true. And without you guys, no, uh, none of the artists get to do what they do. And, and uh, you know, it means a lot to us. We love you guys. Right on, man. This is Rick. Gotta lead his way. We appreciate it, bud. Thank you guys. I appreciate right. it.